Hi, my name's Adam Hubbock. My university number is 67378246. My first monologue will be from A Midsummer's Night's Dream by William Shakespeare, where I'll be playing the character Bottom from Act 4, Scene 1. Oh, when my cue comes, call me and I will answer. My next is most fair Pyramus. Hey ho, Peter Quince, flute the bellows mender, snout the tinker, starveling. God's my life. Stolen hence and left me asleep. I have had a most rare vision. I have had a dream. Past the wit of man to say what dream it was. Man is but an ass if he will go about to expound this dream. Methought I was. There is no man can tell what. Methought I was. And methought I had. Man is but a patched fool if he will offer to say what methought I had. The eye of man hath not heard. The ear of man hath not seen. Man's hand is unable to taste, his tongue to conceive, nor his heart to report what my dream was. I will get Peter Quince to write a ballad of this dream. It shall be called Bottom Stream, because it hath no bottom. I will sing it in the latter end of the play, before the Duke. Peradventure, to make it more gracious, I shall sing it at her death. For my next monologue, I will be playing the role of Tom from The Well and the Badly Loved, and the speech is taken from an extract of the actor told of his pain. I've spent so long dreaming. Dreaming of you. Dreaming of the past. Now I've started to dream of the future. I have this one dream. Terrifying dream. End of the world. Some sort of apocalypse has happened. Some trauma. And I'm alone in the ruins of our old flat. In this dream, I know something bad is about to happen, and I have to choose whether to stay and defend or go on the run. I can't make that decision. And then I wake up. Decision unmade. And I'm not sure for a moment or so what's real anymore. I walk into my living room, turn on the TV, and there's still the BBC. I look out my window, there's still the Tesco Express. I pick up my phone, there's still 118118. Bad things haven't happened yet. It was only a dream, but it felt so real. All my life I've done things I didn't expect to do. Those have been good things. I don't know what any of this means. I don't know what I want it to mean. I don't know what I want. Can I touch you? No. Not yet. I just want to sit here. Close to you. Close enough. It's too early to touch you again. But can I touch you? Your face is one thing, then it's another. I love that. I've wanted so long to touch you again, but I know that if I do, it may be too soon or too late. The wrong moment.
and I'll be playing Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors singing Grow For Me. I've given you sunshine, I've given you dirt, you've given me nothing but heartache and hurt. I'm begging you sweetly, I'm down on my knees. Now please grow for me. I've given you plant food and water to sip. I've given you pot ash. You've given me zip. Oh God, how I miss you. Oh pot, how you tease. Now please grow for me. I've given you southern exposure to get you to thrive. I've built you back hard like I'm supposed to. You're barely alive. I've tried you with levels of moisture from desert to mud. I've given you grow lights and mineral supplements. What do you want from me, blood? Ouch! Damn bruises. Damn thorns. Hey, look what I did, Zooey. Hey. You're opening up. I wonder what made you do that. I think I know what made you do that. Well, I guess a few drops couldn't hurt. As long as you don't make a habit out of it or anything. I've given you sunshine. I've given you rain. Looks like you're not happy. Unless I open a vein. I'll give you a few drops, if that'll appease. Now please, oh, 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 please, grow for me. My device piece is inspired by shadows. What are you doing? Stop following me! Do you mind? Would you stop following me? Shh. Oh God! My arm! My head! My body! I've broken it. Video end.